What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I'm going to show you three high-end upgrades you may want to consider if you're getting a premium home. I've done similar videos in the past talking about upgrades that are affordable, but I've been getting a lot of requests for the luxury items and I get it. You don't go to Gotham for a ham sandwich. If you're buying a new manufactured home and you've got some extra scratch in the budget, you need to know what's available. Because if you don't know what's available, then you don't know what's available. What I'm gonna do is show you the upgrades, tell you what I like about them, and then we'll talk about the price. What I did was scroll through the back office and look for the upgrades that I thought would elevate any home to another level, whether it's making it look cooler or more functional. Let's get into it. The first item to upgrade in a premium home is the appliances. One of the top packages is the microwave wall oven combo with the stainless steel saran top cooktop. Boy, that's a mouthful. This option replaces the standard coil top range, which usually comes in white and sometimes black. The biggest benefit I see to this upgrade is now your food is gonna be closer to eye level, which makes it so much easier when you're checking on whatever you happen to be whipping up. I don't know how many times I've gone to see if I burnt my dinner, bend down, open the door, only to get that big blast of heat right in my face. Slow learner. The second benefit is it looks cool and you can't put a price on that. Actually, you can, and I will. As far as flavor is concerned, this setup isn't gonna magically make you a better cook, but your kitchen's gonna look amazing, and that's half the battle. In this kitchen, I've got mid-range stainless steel appliances. They're not the highest end, but if they were, this is how I would set it up. So I would put the wall oven right here. This cabinet would come out, and it would just kind of tuck in there. And then if this was the cooktop, I'd shuffle it over to that edge so we've had a little bit of counter space between the two. And then you'd get all those cabinets underneath as well as these cabinets up here because this is gonna be gone. That's gonna be part of the wall oven and it's gonna be a pretty nice setup. This isn't the whole kitchen. There's an island behind me. There's a sink over there. This is just part of it, but it's gonna be a really nice functional kitchen. The second upgrade I'm talking is showers. Every factory I've ever dealt with, the standard is a tub shower unit in every bathroom on the floor plan. This is a very basic unit, and to be perfectly honest, at the very least, I think you need to size up from the standard because the standard is tiny. A lot of people seem to really like the walk-in showers, myself included, so I'm gonna look at a few of the options available. The first upgrade is from the standard tub to a 32-inch shower with a glass door. This is a very affordable option, but we aren't here today to talk about affordable options. We're talking luxury, so let's move right along to the five foot shower with the glass door. This gives you a little more space to move around. You can have a sit down on one of the seats if you want, and it's a really good option for any of the shower folks out there, but guess what? We can do better. The cat's meow is the five foot Duma wall shower with the glass barn doors and the rainfall shower head. At the factory I deal with, this is the absolute top cheese of all the showers available. Duma wall is a tongue groove waterproof wall cladding that comes in a bunch of different colors and looks amazing. So that plain white shower surround is replaced with one of the many color options available, making the shower a feature in the bathroom. Combine that with the glass barn door and the rainfall shower head, and this takes any bathroom to a whole nother level. Full disclosure on the rainfall shower head, I have one and I don't like it as much as the regular shower head. I find you're limited to getting the water directly on top of your head, whereas with a regular shower, you can put your head under, you can spin around, get it on your back, get a little shoulder massage going. So when you're out shopping, keep that in mind, it's gonna be cool factor versus functionality, and that's a decision that's gonna to be totally up to you. The final upgrade of the day is the famous shed roof. This upgrade takes a run of the mill single wide and gives it a modern look that is definitely going to turn a few heads. The cost of the upgrade alone probably isn't as much as you think, but when you add everything that goes along with it, well, that's when the price really starts to creep up. When you do a shed roof, the ceiling inside the home is vaulted the same way as the roof, which opens up more sidewall on the high side for windows. 
This is great because then you can add transom windows above the existing windows and door all the way down that side, which then lets in more natural light into the home. If you're planning on a shed roof, take the extra window cost into consideration because if you spring for the roof, but don't have enough left over for the windows, it's just not gonna look right. I'm a big fan of the shed roof, but be careful where you put it. You almost need more space than regular lot to really take advantage of the look. I'm kicking myself for not putting a shed roof on the 18 by 44 foot home we finished recently. I had it on the order, it was the perfect lot for it, but at the very last second, I changed my mind and took it off. Live and learn. This is the house that I had the shed roof on the order and then I took it off last minute. The reason I think it would have worked on this lot is because there's nothing right beside it. So you come down the street and then bam, you've got the shed roof. We would have had the transom windows on there. The whole works. So I'm kind of torn. I like the way this looks, but I'm just kind of not sure if I should have left it on there. It's an 18 wide by 44 feet long. Take a mental picture of what this house looks like because I am gonna ask for a little bit of feedback at the end of the video. So there it is. Remember that look. All right, let's get into the pricing. Keep in mind, every single factory is different and I'm in Canada where the prices tend to be a little bit higher. I am gonna do an approximate US dollar conversion for everyone that's watching from south of the border. The appliance package that included the wall oven, never burn your face again, with the stainless steel saran cooktop comes in right around $4,000. The shower upgrades. The 32 inch shower with the glass door will set you back $285. From there, we went to the five foot shower with the two seats and the glass door. That's gonna cost you $790. Now, brace yourself because this next one's a big jump. We're going from the five foot unit to the five foot Duma wall with the glass barn doors, the rainfall shower head. And if you want that, you really got to open your wallet and it's going to cost you just over $4,000. As for the shed roof, the price on this depends on the length and width of the home. But for this example, I'm going to use the 44 foot house that I had it ordered on but changed my mind. So that would have cost me just over $3,000 without any of the extra transom windows. Let me know if you would have been more likely to buy that house if it had the shed roof on it with some transom windows. Is that something people are looking for? I do always appreciate everyone's feedback. So if you could let me know, it will help me make decisions moving forward. There are so many options in every different price range of upgrades to put into a new manufactured home. A good strategy is to figure out your budget, decide on a floor plan, and then add the options you want. It's always a balancing act between what you need, what you want, and what you can afford. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.